And so it's now about three in the afternoon. I got some sleep there. I'm going to head out and see a bit of uh, Erbil in just a second. Wanted to show some of the Iraqi currency. They use the Iraqi dinar here. And the current exchange rate is about 1,200 Iraqi dinar to one US dollar. And so we'll just call it 1,000 to one to uh, simplify things. And so this here, you can't see on this side, but on the other side, then you've got the, the Arabic numerals. And so there is 10,000 Central Bank of Iraq, 10,000 dinars. So that is about $10. Here we have 5,000, about five bucks. And each one of these ones is 1,000. Basically a dollar bill. I got some bad uh, bills for change. We'll see if I can uh, get rid of those. All right, so there was just a power outage. It happened last night as well. I guess it happens kind of regularly here. But some good news is that my phone service works here. I have T-Mobile and it is a international plan. A generator just went on and uh, so the lights came back on. So I use T-Mobile when I travel and it is a international plan that works basically everywhere but not everywhere. And so I was thinking that it might not work here because other countries that it has not worked in were Morocco, Jordan, Oman, and United Arab Emirates, kind of. And so those are all Muslim countries. And so I thought that maybe Iraq, it wouldn't work as well, but got here and I have my full service, 4G, data, everything. And so that is one of my secrets for being able to travel more easily is having a cell phone plan that works around the world. I just show up, I don't have to get a SIM card, anything. I just uh, land and turn on my phone and it connects to the networks and is good to go, including data, Google Maps, whatever. So uh, that is a nice little surprise there. All right, going to uh, head out of here, just go walk around a little bit. It is about 68 degrees Fahrenheit out there right now. And so nice and warm. My first time uh, wearing a t-shirt in a while heading outside. So uh, let's go see more of Erbil, Iraq, and I will explain a bit more about where I am within Iraq and why I'm able to travel here. Here we go. Baklava. A sweet shop here. This is some yummy looking stuff. Look at those weird looking things. So uh, my hotel is just uh, right a block away and this way is the central square. And it is uh, nice and warm, not hot, just uh, a pleasant sunny day. This is a trip. It is always a little strange arriving in a foreign country for the first time, getting uh, used to a unfamiliar culture and everything, but of course Iraq is another level. So this is Erbil, the capital of Iraqi 
Kurdistan. And so it is a semi-autonomous region of Iraq in northern Iraq, part of the Kurdish region. Okay. And so the Kurds are a separate ethnic group. They are Muslims, but a different uh, people and culture from Arabs, and they don't speak Arabic, they speak Kurdish. And they live in four different countries, primarily Iraq, Iran, Syria, and Turkey. And so they don't have their own country. But Kurdistan here is almost like a separate country within Iraq. And I didn't need a visa to come here. If I were to go to Baghdad or Mosul, which is relatively close by but not in Kurdistan, then I would need a visa for Iraq, which I think would be difficult to get. But there is no uh, visa necessary for Americans anyway and lots of other countries coming to uh, Kurdistan. I just flew in, landed last night as you saw, and they stamped me in. I didn't even have a uh, onward flight. I haven't booked a flight out of here yet. No questions asked or anything, just real easy. All right, uh, let's see here. Yeah. I'm looking for the Erbil Citadel. Not a lot of women on the streets. Almost all men. So you can see on the sign here, it says Mosul. Minaret Park, Saud Abdullah Hall, Erbil Governorate Citadel, Parliament. Whoa. Taxi, no, no, taxi. Hello, no thank you, sir. Taxi. No thanks. <laughs> All right, let's uh, check the phone. Rocky Shar Park. That is this right here. Poke around. Ooh, wow. That is a trip up there. I guess that's. That might be the citadel there. All kinds of like jewelry for sale, like necklaces. That is a lot of uh, necklaces for sale. Citadel of Erbil. The Erbil Citadel, locally called Kelat, is a tell or occupied mound and the historical city center of Erbil in the Kurdistan region of Iraq. Built during the Assyrian Empire, battles siege by the Mongols 1258. The earliest evidence for occupation of the Citadel mound dates to the 5th millennium BC. Check that out. 5th millennium, not century, millennium BC. 7,000 years ago and possibly earlier. It appears for the first time in historical sources in the Ebla tablets around 2300 BC. And so that is it. There are some stairs over there, so uh, let's get up there, see some views of the city.
Okay, is it left or right side? Maybe both. I don't see the uh, stairs right here, but they must uh, connect down the street a little ways here. People hanging out to uh, watch the sunset. Okay, I'm not finding that uh, stairway to get up to the citadel. It's like back behind all of this stuff right here. Okay, maybe uh, maybe up ahead here. Kalat Street. And no. That's where I want to be. I guess I have to do it from the other side. Okay. All right, walking back this way. It looks really cool though. So uh, I guess this is it over here. The uh, steps going up. <laughs> Only until 5 p.m. Okay, good thing that I got here uh, now. It is four something, I think. Let's uh, walk into the citadel here. See what's inside. Okay, not really inside, I guess. Uh, it is a kind of fortress or city up here on the hill. There are going to be some cool views from out there, it looks like. Let's go check that out. All right, places to visit at Erbil Citadel. Miniature Kurdish costumes exhibition, music archive, archaeology excavation area, Ahmadi Gate, Grand Mosque. Flag of Kurdistan. The flag of Kurdistan was created by Shoibun, during the Ararat Rebellion against Turkey in 1928. So that is the Kurdish flag, not the Iraqi flag. I guess. I mean, these aren't like thousands of years old or anything, but uh, abandoned buildings. More of Erbil.
Vancouver, yes, I love, Vancouver, I love Canada. Yeah. Iraqi players play in Vancouver. Oh, okay. Sport club. In, uh, in Iraqi player. Which, what? Yeah, football, football okay. Club, yeah. Like soccer, soccer. Like. Yeah, soccer, soccer. Okay. Yeah. Do you mind being in the video? It's okay. Love what you did see. It's okay. But I'm not going to say that I'm not going to say that. Is this Kurdish? Yes, Kurdish. Yes, okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Your name? Ahmed. Ahmed. Yeah. Gabriel. Handeren, Handeren. Handeren, Handeren, yes. Ibi, 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 Ibi. Okay. Ibi. Oh, you're from Irbil? Yeah, okay. we are from Irbil from. since 8,000 years. You've been here a long time? <laughs> my my four grandfather. Yeah. yeah, yeah, cool. How long been there? I just arrived yesterday, last night. Really? Yeah. So it's my first my first day, just walking around. You go to Morocco? You went to Exactly. Morocco? I was there three years ago. Three years ago. Yeah. Have you been or? No, I didn't. Have, have you been outside of Iraq or? Yeah. I which place? Europe, Germany, okay. uh, France, Belgica, France, Netherlands. Netherlands. I, I just yeah. came, I was in Netherlands. Uh, Belgica, Belgium. 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 Belgium is nice. Belgium. Yep. France, uh, Germany, Excellent. Turkey. Turkey. I, I just spent two weeks in Turkey. Dubai. Dubai. You speak yeah. Turkey? Yes, I was, yeah. I was there. Uh, Turkey. Yes. Do you know yeah. Turkish? Turkey, Turkey. I don't. Yes. Only I can I can say Tashakur at the Rem. Tashakur at the Rem. This is I know Turkish food. Yeah. Oh, you do. Okay. Cool. Arabic, Kurdish, Turkish, English. So what is the uh, what is the greeting in if you can you say salam alaikum? There? Here in Kurdistan? There Choni Bashi. Choni How are you? Choni Bashi. Choni Bashi. Yeah. You like, ask for him. Bashi. Okay. Bashi. It's like hello and how are hello. you? Hello. Greetings. Greetings. Yeah, like, yeah. Cool. So, what's your plan with him? I'm meeting a friend uh, tomorrow. Uh, he's another travel travel vlogger, right. YouTuber guy. Yeah. Uh, and he's coming tomorrow, and uh, we're, we're your, just gonna explore around. Can you give me your I'll channel? I'll tell you. Yeah. Ice, fresh juice. Ice. No ice. No ice. No ice. No ice. Fresh. Yeah. Fresh. Fresh. Only only juice. No mix. Thank you. No mix. How do you say thank you in uh, in Kurdish? Thank thank you. Spas Kurdish spas. Thank you. Spas 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 spas. Okay. Got a fresh orange juice here. Really tasty. And I'm going to uh, walk back to my hotel and uh, chill. Work on the. Uh, next video about the journey getting here starting in Finland at the Arctic Circle so if you want to see that video check the link down below and coming next lots more from Iraqi Kurdistan see ya Just did a little shopping. I got here four little bottles of water. I asked him for a large bottle and he said, oh, over there. And it was like five gallons. So just went for the uh, small bottles. And four juices, peach, orange, and uh, apricot, and a yogurt. And it was all 5,000 dinar, which is less than five bucks. Good deal.